You know, a lot of people like to spread like negative Xbox news. Uh, I get it because the negative news usually gets you far more than the positive stuff, right? Let's just be honest. It's it's just the truth. Um, you know, I'm an Xbox fan, but they do screw up a lot and do stupid things. So it makes it very difficult to be an Xbox fan at certain times, right? I'm just being honest about that. It just, it is. It's hard to be an Xbox fan sometimes. And I mean that not in like a most awful, awful way or anything. It's just the truth. You know, they hurt themselves a ton. And, you know, I, I and it really does hurt that, you know, um, that, that, that Microsoft does this to themselves, you know, and, and so many fans really let them off the hook when it comes to, you know, a lot of this stuff, you know what I mean? I, I honestly just feel like, um, you know, it's really an understated situation. Uh, but anyway, this is good news. And this is something where people really ran with this negative news and it ended up being not true, right? Like so many, like just wait when it comes to some of this stuff. I, I don't understand what some people are thinking, you know, by jumping the gun on this, you know, it honestly does not make sense. And to be clear, um, I'm, I, I'm, gl I'm glad that this is kind of out in the open now, uh, and we'll see what happens with it, but I'm going to get into this. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to hear what a lot of you have to say about this, because I'm sure some of you have heard about this news and I'm covering it. Um, and we'll kind of see, uh, what's going on but what's up everybody i'm crap gamer this is crap gamer reviews back with a another video thank you so much for watching i certainly do appreciate it uh if you guys are watching the video please slap the like button it helps the channel out subscribe even you know that helps the channel out tremendously too um you know i do daily gaming content i do at least one video a day sometimes two uh, really kind of depending on what's going on i try to be informative yet entertaining so with that being said you know help me out help the channel out we're kind of trying to build things up a little bit and i'm just so appreciative if you guys could help me do that you know it would just be awesome so i'm very much looking forward to kind of what's going on um so anyway you guys might have heard this controversy um the banjo kazooie controversy maybe you've heard of it maybe you haven't but basically somebody used translate to translate something and it kind of sounded like oh maybe xbox was like who cares about banjo kazooie and now that's been clarified and responded to um the discussion surrounding if or when we might see something new from banjo kazooie has resurfaced following the additional banjo 2e2 nintendo switch's online nintendo 64 library the other week that includes an unearthed quote from xbox's aaron greenberg uh, claiming the executive said, quote unquote, nobody cares about the series behind closed doors. Greenberg has since responded to the quote, confirming he said it, but clarifying the context. He said, I quote, I've seen two reactions to the Greenberg, or excuse me, not this isn't his quote, but I've seen some reactions to the Greenberg quote since it started doing the rounds. One from people who aren't fans of Banjo agreeing with it, and almost everyone else concluding that Greenberg likely didn't mean it in the way that the quote was framed. The Xbox VP has replied to some suggesting exactly that, confirming that the comment he made about no one liking Banjo was indeed a sarcastic one. He said, and I quote, I absolutely know how much Banjo-Kazooie means to our fans and gamers everywhere. It holds a special place in my heart growing up playing these classic games. Not only did Greenberg note that his Banjo comment was sarcasm, but he himself is a big fan of the series. And what hasn't been cleared up is whether this means there will be more Banjo anytime soon as it has been 16 years since the last Banjo-Kazooie game beyond Nintendo making the original games through its expansion pass and adding the lead characters to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There has been no mention of what's next, if anything, for the series. So, you know, somebody asked him if it's true, going to assume that it was sarcasm lost in translation, have a hard time believing that Aaron Greenberg would say something like this. Uh, publicly and he said correct i absolutely know how much banjo kazooie means to our fans and gamers everywhere it holds a special place in my heart growing up playing these classic games so rare owns the rights to banjo kazooie and xbox owns rare hence greenberg's comments about no one caring receiving quite a bit of attention over the weekend so again you know we saw this and i just wanted to kind of point out like as soon as i saw that somebody was using google translate you know my thought process was you know, this is really a situation where we should probably wait and see um, and kind of get an idea of what's going on before we actually go out there and, you know, kind of, you know, jump the gun. You know, honestly, that is just, 
um, one of the things that 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 when we look at it, um, you know, we have to be able to see that you know that Microsoft, what you know, that not all these things are as as negative as it seems or as as bad as it seems, you know. And it's like a lot of things do get lost in translation. So you know, I kind of wanted to kind of keep that in mind when it comes to a lot of these types of announcements and things like that uh and hopefully you know people learn a little bit from this although i'm sure they probably won't um because honestly we we keep seeing this stuff happen all the time when it comes to xbox and people are just like you know oh well and because the the, the thing will make front page news right the negative thing the re the, the retraction is like on the back page of you know uh, of a site or something like that if it ever even makes it there so you know again like I, I i think that that's that's probably where we need to kind of be as fans with this stuff maybe not believe every little thing that we see without some kind of uh confirmation or you know truth or something along the lines um before we understand that you know like i hope that that's the case and you know listen microsoft has to understand that you know people are going to continue to you know believe the negative stuff because they do negative things all the time like i mean there's not really any other way to put that they are very much a company that kind of um kind of does their own thing and then changes course a little while later and that's not realistically a smart way to go about uh being a company in my opinion and i get it that people will point out that they're like this multi-trillion dollar company or whatever and that that's true but they have continually failed in um, in gaming, and you know they and people might point to oh well they're making all this money and blah blah blah, and they are. But they bought the biggest IP that makes billions every year. Um, you know when it comes to their own stuff, they've failed epically. And you know people I think really don't keep that in mind enough. Like you know I'm not knocking Microsoft per se, but it's like dang you do have to realize that. Um, it's not a flex, you know. Anyway, the clarification from Greenberg that his comments weren't serious and that he, someone who has a lot of sway when it comes to Xbox Does Next, is a fan of the series, may provide a glimmer of hope for Banjo fans after worrying uh, a couple of days following the, cal the circulation of this quote to begin with. Greenberg's profession of love for Banjo-Kazooie comes less than a year after Xbox head Phil Spencer noted that he was well aware of how much people would love to see more from the series after it has been laying dormant for so long. That Spencer and Greenberg would seemingly love there to be more Banjo makes it even stranger that rumors of a new game was in development was seemingly debunked over the summer and there's been no update on whether the project is alive or dead. So we don't really know um, kind of what's going on with Banjo Kazooie? I honestly hope that they kind of work it out, and you know, it's it, it's realistically something that uh, I hope that they kind of figure out before too long. They had the perfect team for it with Toys for Bob, um, you know, and then they let Toys for Bob go and be you know a private company or whatever. But you know, at the same time, I just feel like you know it's not going to come from Rare. So people that think that it would come from Rare, definitely not going to happen. Um, you know just it just honestly would not uh be something that that happens because rare doesn't want to do um these old games and things like that so you know again we'll see what happens uh long term with this kind of stuff but i, I just don't see rare going back to making this and i don't see you know if they do do something with it I, you know listen like in my opinion gauge gauge the um you know the the want for it first you know it, maybe there is a, a want for it maybe put out a remake or something along the lines um but you know again i think it just makes sense to kind of make sure that people are are interested you know and, and i think people are interested it's just going to take something of a um of a game you know you have to gauge that and look at astrobot man that thing is is realistically uh, doing so well and and people love that game like it's time you can have other games other than you know the same games over and over again or, or like the the online games as a service stuff you can do other things microsoft you know that's the that's the thing that i would kind of say is that you have to be able to um you know you have to be able to have options so uh but anyway i will link this in the description you guys can check it out how do you feel about it uh, please let me know down below. 
or you know let me know on Twitter or wherever the case may be uh, I would definitely appreciate that and like I said it helps out the channel a lot more than you realize so you know I hope you guys have a great time gaming uh, thank you so much for watching rack them up fact them up crap gamer them up and we'll catch you next time crap gamer out <laughs>